Remember that a while back on the show, Marilyn Smith showed us how to hashtag food pivot to get more bang for your buck. You all loved that segment, and we're all feeling the burn from inflation these days. So we decided to take it a step further. We challenged Mayor to take $50 to the grocery store and turn it into three healthy meals for a family of four. Can she do it? Let's take a look. Here's some of my best tips and tricks on how to save money at the grocery store. Number one, shop your fridge, your pantry, and your freezer first. And then you know what you've got, then plan a menu based on what you already have. And then you write a grocery list. Yes, it's archaic, but that's what you do. I even use recycled paper. When you go to the grocery store, don't forget the list and only buy what's on the list. My last tip is don't arrive hungry, you'll buy stuff you don't need. I always start in the produce department because, hello, I'm the queen of fiber. I want you to eat more fruits and vegetables. And when you want to save money, going with seasonal local is your best choice. And the best choice on top of that is to choose these naturally imperfect uh, bags of vegetables. This is a product of Canada, grown in Canada. Look how many carrots I'm getting for three bucks. Ooh. Okay, I have on my grocery list four peppers. This is a bag of six. A much better buy, and I'm going to figure out what to do with those extra two peppers. Great deal. Oh, be still my heart. Sweet potatoes, they're so good for you. Soluble fiber, beta carotene, mama's happy. Okay, but I only need two. This is five dollars for this entire bag. If you don't use sweet potatoes as much as I do, this is not for you, then just go buy the two, but I use them a lot. Um, I'm going to use this for a couple of weeks, store them in a cool, dark place. I love roasting a chicken on a Sunday night, okay? So you do a lot of prep on Sunday so the, the week ahead of you isn't so daunting. This is going to be one roasted chicken and then a couple of nights later I'm going to make it into soup. It's an excellent idea for pre-planning. I love me a chicken. Every week I plan multiple dishes using plant-based foods and I love black beans. They're really high in antioxidants and when I buy kinds of products like this I always look for the no name. It's hard to beat this kind of a price. The other thing I buy and cook every week and I've talked about this multiple times is whole grains. Uh, I'm going to use this bag of barley. It's going to go into my soup. It's going to be a side. Dish. It's endless and I won't even use the whole bag. And last but not least I need canned diced tomatoes once again going with the no name brand. <laughs> Time to check out. Well, I'm going to bag all this stuff and then I'm going to go home and do some math. I'll see you back in the studio. She did it. That looked like so much fun, Mayor. You're like a master grocery shopper. <laughs> so I want to know how much did you spend? Okay, so when I went home and did all the math, like I said, and yes. that was like arduous, but anyway, you know, because I had a whole bag of sweet potatoes, yeah. I only needed the cost of two, you know, so I broke everything down, and mm -hmm. so when I broke everything down, I did not three dinners, uh -huh. I did four dinners <gasps> for a total of $44.45. Under That's four dinners. That's four dinners for four people. That's right. That's yeah. incredible. Yeah. Okay, I want to talk about what you made. Like, what are we making for meal number one? Because you're making a ton of meals out of this $44. I am, and it's, it was so much fun. I mean, I I love, I hate bathing suit shopping, but put me in a grocery <laughs> store, and I'm like, yes! Anyway, I'll beat you! Anyway. You're in your element. I am. Okay, yeah. so the first one was a chicken. Yes. Okay, so a chicken to me is the ultimate uh, sheet pan dinner, you know, the original roast chicken. Yeah. My mom would put it in a roasting pan with a whole bunch of vegetables and dinner was ready, right? right. You can do that with a roasted beef as well. Okay, okay, so you can do whatever you need to do, but stick it in the oven. How long is it in there for? And we need to talk about the pan it's in. Okay, so let's talk about the roasting pan first, let's and then do we'll that. do the time, because the timing is all on how big it is. Got it. Okay, so, and there's there's charts you can go online and find. Yeah. Um, but, you know, basically 350 degrees is what you want to put it in. Fair. But you need to put it into a roasting pan, and a lot of people think that this is a roasting pan. Yeah, but this no. is not. It's like a braising pan. I mean, this is, you could put this chicken in there with liquid. Yes. But it's a different method of cooking, right? Mm -hmm. And roasting. Like you say, if it goes in there, you say you're going to steam it. You're going to steam I it. I don't want to steam chicken. Oh, the skin is gross. And so what I do is that uh, I have a roasting pan, which is uh, shallow edges and yes. a rack. Yes. But a lot of people don't. Mm -hmm. So you can use a baking dish that has edges on it. 
Nice. And then just use a cooling rack and stick the chicken on top. Yeah, so you might have this for your cookies or whatever. Yeah, use yeah. it for your chicken. Use it for that. And, and then, you use parchment as well. Yeah, and that's one of my cleanup tips because Scott does, my husband does all the dishes, yes. mostly. And so this is so he doesn't hate me. Anyway, this is so to keep the marriage alive. It is. <laughs> Good for you. Marriage. Okay, so we're going to put a little bit of oil on it just to keep it all pretty. And then I'm going to stick that in the oven. And you asked her how long it would take. So yeah. this is about a four pound chicken, so that's about two hours and something. Okay. So halfway through, I'm going to bring that chicken out and add a whole bunch of vegetables. This is your so, roasted vegetables. Okay. okay, so carrots, onions, whatever you got, rutabaga. Yes. I wouldn't put broccoli. They'll go to, mm. you know, awful. So keep mm -hmm. all root vegetables together. Okay. So that goes in the oven. And then it's ready when it comes out, and the register on the thermometer is 180 Fahrenheit yes. and 82 Celsius in the breast. And even though you are a professional home economist and have made a billion of these, you still check. Always. 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 You know, because you okay. can wiggle that leg till the cows come home and it's either overcooked or raw. <laughs> right. So, you know, so yeah. <laughs> it was just an image in my or mind. They, there, or until the chickens the come home. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, then when it comes out of the oven, you put it in chicken timeout. Okay. And so what that is, I put it on. You the, go in the corner. You're a bad chicken. No, you're actually a very, very good chicken. Anyway, and so what that involves is putting some foil on top of it and then something to heat the heat in. Very and then good. what happens is that all those juices that got pushed out because the bone is the conductor of heat, okay. um, get to mitigate in. They go back ah. into them, and so it's very, very juicy. All over the place. All over the place. So okay? timeout is good for a, chicken. A chicken or a turkey timeout, yes. always very important. Okay. Um, okay, so with that meal, I bought a bag of barley, mm -hmm. and one of the reasons is it's got soluble fiber. I am the queen mm. of fiber, self-proclaimed. Self anyway, um, <laughs> and one cup of dry barley with two cups of water cooked for about 30, 40 minutes yeah. um, will have three cups as a yield. Ooh. Ooh, that's so good. while that chicken's in the oven, cook yes. up your barley, and you're going to be using that throughout all of my four meals. Beautiful. Yeah. Do you okay. want to show us the plated the meal show there? show and tell. So this is the, called the healthy plate, mm -hmm. and that's a quarter uh, chicken, a quarter complex carbohydrate. I put mushrooms into the barley, peas, carrots, and onion, and there's your dinner. Yum-I. She did it, everyone! <laughs>